Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Nur Aini, NIM 1902937. In this video, I would like to explain about my media on GeoGebra. First, I will give the explanation about introduction of GeoGebra. GeoGebra is a software that really helps teachers in making mathematics learning designs related to geometry, algebra, graph, calculus, and so on. Let's go to my media on GeoGebra. My media about trigonometric functions using the unit circle. Subject, compulsory math, class 10, semester two. Of course, the topic is about trigonometric functions using the unit circle. First, I give the basic competencies of the topic. 3.10, explain trigonometric functions using the unit circle. 4.10, analyze change in the graph of trigonometric function due to change in the constant in the function y is equal to a sin b x plus c in bracket plus d. Then I give the indicators of competence achievement. 3.10.1, Explain the steps or how to draw graphs of trigonometric functions using a unit circle of the form fx equals sin x. 3.2 Sorry, 3.10.2 Explain the steps or how to draw graphs of trigonometric function using a unit circle of the form fx equals cos x. 3.10.3, explain the steps or how to draw graphs of trigonometric functions using a unit circle of the form fx equals tan x. Then, in the last 4.10.1, analyze change in the graph of trigonometric functions due to change in the constants in the function y is equal to a sin b x plus c in bracket plus d. Then I give the learning objective. There are three learning objectives. First, students are able to explain the steps or how to draw graphs of trigonometric functions using a unit circle of the form fx equals sin x. Two, Students are able to explain the steps or how to draw graphs of trigonometric functions using a unit circle of the form fx equals cos x. Three, students are able to explain the steps or how to draw graphs of trigonometric function using a unit circle of the form fx equals tan x. And the last, analyze change in the graph of trigonometric functions due to change in the constants in the function y equals a sin b x plus c in bracket plus d. After that, I give the material. Trigonometric functions is a function that maps a set of angles to a set of values by using trigonometric ratios. In trigonometric functions, the domain is the set of angles. The codomain is the set of numbers. Graphs of trigonometric functions can be drawn using the unit circle. Then I give the period of trigonometric function. Trigonometric functions are periodic functions. This means the values of sin, cos, Tangent always repeat every 360 degree intervals. Sin theta plus q times 360 degrees in bracket is equal to sin theta. Cos theta plus q times 360 degree in bracket is equal to cos theta. 
tan theta plus k times 360 degrees in bracket is equal to tan theta with k is equal to plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and so on according to the definition then y equals sin x equals ordinate per radius by setting radius equals 1 then y equals ordinate per 1 equals ordinate with these properties, the coordinates of the points that make up the curve y equals in x are coordinates x, y, with x is equal to angle and y equal to ordinate. The points x, y can be specified as many times as necessary to determine the points through which the curve will pass. After that, I give the applet about the graph of function y equals sin x. In this applet, students can explore. I give the information, move point P with a click and drag point P with the mouse. So students can click this point and drag. Then, Pay attention to the graph that is formed from the movement of point Q. Also, pay attention to the change in the size of the BAP angles. After that, I give the activity. First, complete the following table to show the pair of points that represent y equals sin x by choosing x with the specified interval. So, students can complete this table and then put the points we get on the coordinate system, connect the points above to get a graph according to trigonometric function fx equals sin x. Then I give the applet so students can put the points in this applet. After that, according to the definition, then y equals cos x equals abscissa per radius. By setting radius equals 1, then y equals abscissa per 1 equals abscissa. With these properties, the coordinates of the points that make up the curve y equals cos x are coordinates x, y with x equals angle and y equals abscissa. The points x, y can be specified as many times as necessary to determine the points through which the curve will pass. In order for the abscissa, value to move from the x-axis to the y-axis. The unit circle is rotated 9 degrees counterclockwise. After that, I provide the graph of function y equals cos x. Same like before, in this applet, students can explore. I give the information, move point D with a click and drag point D with the mouse. So students can click point D and drag point D. And pay attention to the graph that is formed from the movement of point F. Also pay attention to the change in the size of the DAE angle. After that, I give the activity. First, complete the following table to show the pair of points that represent y equals cos x by choosing x with the specified interval. So students can complete this table, then put the points we get on the coordinate system, connect the points above to get a graph according to the trigonometric function fx equals cos x. Then I give this a plot.
students can put the point into this applet. After that, according to the definition, then y equals tan x equals ordinate per abscissa because abscissa equals radius equals one, then y equals tan x equals ordinate per one equals ordinate. With these properties, the coordinates of the points that make up the curve y equals tan x are coordinates x comma y with x equals angle and y equals abscissa. The graph of function y equals tan x. So I give this a plot. Students can explore this a plot with the information. Move point C with a click and drag point C with the mouse. Point C, click, and students can drop. Pay attention to the graph that is formed from the movement of point F. Also, pay attention to the change in the size of the CAE angles. Then I give the activity. Complete the following table to show the pair of points that represent y equals tan x by choosing x with the specified interval. Then I give the table. Students can complete this table. Then put the points we get on the coordinate system. Co connect the points above to get a graph according to trigonometric functions fx equals tan x. Then I provide the applet. Students can put the points in this applet. So later, there appear the graph of functions y equals tan x. And the last, I give the exercise. First, draw a graph of the functions y equals 2 sin 2x minus 20 degree in bracket. So students can answer in this blank. And then I give the a plate to students make the graph. Then the second, the equation of the graph below is, then I provide five multiple choice and then students can answer by click this answer. Then students also check the answer. I give the example, if students answer this, then students check. Uh, then this is the answer, the correct answer. Okay, that's all from me. Sorry for my mistakes. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.